So I've been working a lot on this world. I added several more families and households, and I made some of them homes. Just all the stuff that I personally don't think is all that interesting in video. First of all, this man living next door to uh, Bonnie Ann, I had a thought. Bonnie Ann is a recreation of a Sims 3 sim that I had, who was based on a character from Pirate 101, who was one of my favorite characters, but not my favorite favorite character. My favorite favorite character was Jack Russell. So why did I never make a sim of him? So I did. I made a sim of him. Me and my friends sometimes jokingly call him Furry Wesley since he's very clearly based off Wesley from The Princess Bride. So I made a sim version of Furry Wesley, which is a human version of Furry Wesley. So basically I just made a human Wesley. I just made Wesley. He's the leader of the pack, Clip kleptomaniac since he was a pirate romantic and family oriented. I'm hoping he and Bonnie become friends, but I am also thinking of maybe making him in the criminal career since he is a kleptomaniac and I think that could cause drama because kleptomaniac friend, spy friend, a full on land grab sort of situation. We also have the clown family. The Clown family is a very colorful family. First of all, we have Bingalow Blood Clown. His life ambition is to be a clown, but unfortunately, he has this awful scar from some bad situation. I don't remember. I haven't thought about it. Maybe his mom just looked at him and thought, this is a really ugly baby, let me just fix this. So maybe that's what happened. So he decided to become a horror clown instead, but he still tries to be like a nice clown. He's a goofball, outgoing, and extremely depressed. This is his wife, Gemma. She is also a clown, except she's actually able to be a nice clown. She has a lot of health issues due to overeating. This is their oldest daughter, Victoria. She's also into the entertainment career stuff, but she's more into the historical reenactment and things kind of thing, as you can clearly tell. She's romantic and a snob. This is their youngest son, JJ. He's their little business elf. The business suit is supposed to be funny because he's a kid and also dressed like an elf, but I'm also thinking that he probably takes it seriously. I think he could get end up getting into politics one day. Mainly because I've been watching a lot of Parks and Recreation a lot, and I think that we could use some sort of government system in The Sims. Like a mayor or something. It would give us a good story excuse for changing lots and things. So that the world is actually changing as time goes on. And then this is their middle daughter, Lillian, who does not like anything about entertaining. She has enormous stage fright. She also is very much a country person and loves the open air and country and would love to have a big mansion somewhere out with a giant field surrounding her. But at the moment she's currently being forced to live in this little apartment in the city. But I mean, look how beautiful this apartment is. Wouldn't you want to live here with the beautiful lime green floors? And finally, we have the Katz family. I did not make this family. My friend Courtney did. First of all, we have a cat massage lady. Champion, it's time for cat massage. And we have the person who is clearly her soulmate, Squish That Cat. Squish That Cat. All you need to know is to squish that cat. And in addition, they also have Cats movie, aka Taylor Swift. I have not seen the Cats movie yet, but I really want to, because I like to torture myself. And even though Courtney made the family, I'm pretty proud of the house that I made for them. Look at it. It is a cat. It has its tail back here. I managed to make the shape work. Right here is where they film their cat videos. In case you're having a hard time finding it, the toilet is right here. And then up here is Cat Movie's room. Because she is technically a cat, she doesn't have much. She doesn't need much. She just has a bed, she has a little feeding area, and then she has a litter box. 
It's one of those fancy talking litter boxes, too, because that's the kind of litter box cat massage would get for her cats. So in other news, I want to go back to the Pancakes house, because what I want is to move them. Everyone else is living in the city, they should live in the city, too. That's the kind of person that they are, just, or that at least Eliza is, just trying to be like everyone else and better. So we're going to move. I didn't make them an apartment. I probably should have done that. She's still pregnant. I think what she wants, what she really, really wants, is to have all of the children and to name all of them Timothy. Just because. Why Timothy? I don't know. Ask Eliza. She's insane like that. So anyway, without talking to Bob about it at all, we're just going to move. Because she wants to live in the city. And so she will. She wants to raise all of her Timothy children in the city. Living in the spice market would make sense because I think Bob is a cook. But I do not think she is okay with that. She wants to live in the fashion district. And since Bob doesn't actually know we're moving yet, that's what's going to happen. Boop. Evict. We are keeping our furniture. I'm not going to decorate their place right now, but I will do it later. He's still in his pajamas, too. She just moved him and didn't tell him, and he's just in my pajamas. In his pajamas, not my pajamas. There's karaoke machine. That's good. They should have karaoke times. Sometime. Yeah, they have a nice house, and there's already beds for Timothy. Here. Sing duet. A country duet with Bob. That was beautiful. This apartment is not going to be big enough for all of the Timothys that Eliza wants to have, so I think that she's going to tell him that she wants him to work harder at his job. Do you really want the kids or do you not want the kids? If you want them, you should work harder. You're only on level three. Oh, the welcome wagon. Here, Bob, serve lunch. Tofu tacos, that sounds hard to make. Invite neighbors in. There's only one neighbor. There's usually like three. Excuse me, where is everyone else? Penny Pizzazz. She seems like someone that Eliza really wants to get to know well. Brag about positions. Anyway, I think that's gonna end that episode.